Hi right, guys, uh, as you guys can see by the title, the hot takes are back. We've done it before. Um, it was fun. Well, the way this works is I um, I say a statement and the people around the table either put their hand up if they agree or they keep their hand down if they disagree. Then we will talk about it, we will debate and we will discuss. As usual, you guys can get involved in the comments because all of these takes require people's opinions. They're opinion-based takes, so feel free to get involved in the comments, write paragraphs, write whatever you want, essays, whatever you want. Um, if you're listening to the audio version, obviously you can't see who puts their hands up. I apologise, but I will try and mention every single time who's got their hands up and who agrees and who disagrees. So we'll help you. But if you want to head over to the YouTube video for this section, feel free, Shark of Sports on YouTube. If you're listening to the audio and you want to keep listening to the audio, Shark of Sports on Spotify and iTunes, SDS Pod on TikTok and hashtag SDS Pod on Twitter as usual to get involved and send over some video ideas. Um, do everyone know how it works, yeah? We've been here before. Liban, you haven't. It's your first time. Yeah. But it's pretty simple. The first one I have, because this was a thing on, on online recently and they got officially confirmed as this. I don't know how. I don't know who decided. But the statement is, 2007-2008 Manchester United are the best Premier League team ever. If you agree, put your hand up. If you disagree, keep it down. Levan's hand is firmly up. It's bouncing. It's ba- both hands are up. They're both bouncing. Stars, are you thinking? Sean, are you thinking? I'm nah, thinking. I voted on this. Uh, you voted. Eh? You didn't vote for them. Nah. So your hands are firmly down. Stars? Mm. I'm f- I don't know. I, I'm it's a tough one. The other teams. <laughs> Do you know what the maddest thing was? Yeah. I thought they would be lowest. What? Okay. What teams were nominated? It was Arsenal Invincibles. Yep. It was Chelsea 0-3 or 5-6. Or or yeah. Um, Man City Centurions. Yep. Yeah, better than that. And that United team. Yeah. All right, well, time's up. Everyone's, you guys' hands are still down? Uh, no. I'll Stars just... has joined him. So my brother, my brother, my brother, <laughs> my brother, my brother, my brother. But it wasn't a confident one. He put two fingers up. He was like, this. <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> like, all right, so, okay, brother. here we go. We've got a debate and discuss. St- Liban and Star players' hands were up. <laughs> Sean and Sharkies are down. Be that still. So, Liban, why is the 07-08 team the best? Uh, straight forward, man. You know what I mean? The greatest team of all time. You know what I mean? It's, you got Ronaldo. You won the Champions League as well, right? Yeah, we know what plays you had. Just yeah. about. <laughs> so, uh, for me, okay. Like, yeah, all, all just sad. For me, like a lot of people might argue and say that the, the quality of the league back then is not as strong as it is now. Yep. But you could also argue that the teams that were competing for the title were way stronger then than they are now. Uh-huh. So you had Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, United every year going at it to try and win the title. Those four teams were, were in the, that period from about, let's say from 2005 up until about maybe... You can say we weren't competing point. for the league at that point. I was twenty eight. No, you you wasn't co- you you were still in the mix though, no, because there was one year I, I think the Eduardo competing. season where yeah, Eduardo got injured. Before. You were competing. Yeah, yeah. It was up before. until the Eduardo, yeah. and then you had obviously Chelsea and Liverpool one year as well. Yep. Uh, finished quite close to us. So every team, every year it was it was never clear cut that United were going to win. They had to go through little tribulations and you know periods of where another team might be on the top for a little while. Mm-hmm. Chelsea, little Liverpool, Arsenal, um, and that period as well. That period of um, of when my United were dominated, English teams were the best in Europe. We were like you had about what every year f- for like yep. a few years you had about three English teams in the semi finals of the Champions League. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, so you can't you can't deny that the Premier League at that point, especially those four teams at strong. the top, were ridiculously strong. So for them to come out and be th- winners of the Premier League three years in a row, go to Champions League final back to back, bro, it's ridiculous, man. It's like for me. I haven't come across a team. I know it's going to sound biased, but I haven't come across a team that's been as deadly, as lethal as that team. Especially when you look at the back, the defence. Like, that whole team was almost perfect. You, you look at the goalkeeper, to the defence, to the midfield, to the attack. Everywhere on the pitch was ridiculous. Like, there was no, there, uh, you, there was no weak position in that team. Mm. Maybe you question, maybe sometimes you could question maybe right back because Gary Neville was injured at that time and then West Brown came and filled. But every time West Brown played, he played well. He was the one that assisted Ronaldo in the Champions League final. Yep. So you can even argue that well, West Brown done his thing. So for me, it's that's 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 my reasons, isn't it? I know mm. people will say City as well. City, obviously, the Centurions, they've got more points, they won more games. But then it's European, European, they didn't do anything. Yeah. And they never they never won. They As good as they are, they haven't done three in a row. You know what I mean? So you can still, you're always going to have that argument. You know what I mean? Maybe in a single season, yeah, they had a better campaign. But yeah. that's what, over the well, course, I don't Yeah, think, I mean, we're, yeah. we're looking to try and judge also. Obviously, the, 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 sing, the season is our own. Mm. We're looking to try and judge that. Sure, well, you kept your hand down. What what team are you are you putting into the conversation? No, but only because of the season alone. Yeah. It's like, we're not talking about, a st- we're not talking about three peats or nothing. Uh-huh. The, the question was, what team was better? Yep. And I personally, I, I voted for Man City. In in I thought it was quite easy. Okay. 
And then they were, I think they potentially had probably one of the least amount of votes. I think if not the least. Well, but do you think that's more on nostalgia? It's not nostalgia. How's it nostalgia? The city no, as, in, as, in like, as in like the city... Yeah, yeah, I do agree with I do agree with Liban in terms of like maybe the quality of the competition within those years were a bit better. I think they were so much. So I think we in 07, 08, we just literally come off the back of that kind of double Premier League winning season, 04, 05, or 05, 06. I think we kind of went into that kind of cup hen- cup hunting mode of trying to just try and win that Champions League. We got to the Champions League final that year with them lot and probably played better than them in the final, but lost on pens. But in terms of a team of being dominant, I just felt like that one year of City's dominance, that Hunt Centurion year, mm. I just think if I put that team up against all the other teams in matchups, I'm thinking to myself, maybe stylistically, we, we were good because we attacked people and we, we were quite attacking in that period of 04, 05, or 05, or 06. And maybe we would have been able did to get you the guys, City defenders. Did you guys as well like, concede like 12 goals, something ridiculous like that? Yeah, our defensive record was great. Yeah. That, that's what I'm thinking. It hasn't lost a I thought the Chelsea, that's well. saying, I think, because... Yeah. I don't. Everyone, I'm not. The, I don't really like Chelsea that much. But mm. I'd put up more of a fight for Chelsea, yeah, bro. I, I put, because I put, yeah. because look, I think the greatest accomplishment is the Invincibles. Yeah, I think that in general, Invincibles and the second is Centurions. Mm. I think that's the best accomplishments. Mm. But I wouldn't put Arsenal as the strongest team in Premier League mm. history. I wouldn't because we draws, drew twelve games. Yeah. Like, yeah. but that the achievement is the best. Yeah, to go but, to yeah, go and beat an achievement. Go, yeah. the lo- zero losses. Yeah, that's yeah. never happened. Mm. But I'm not going to fight Arsenal's case and be like, yeah. oh yeah, we should be us. But yeah. The year after Chelsea, at that point you got the most points in the league. Mm. Up until obviously later on the season, now yeah, it's like now City. it's crazy. Now you have to get uh, like ninety plus points to win the league. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we Liverpool, held that Liverpool, Liverpool came second with ninety seven points. It's ridiculous. crazy now football, yeah. but yeah. at that point Chelsea had crazy amount of points. You lost one game, yeah. right? And that was a penalty City. by Nicholas and Elka for Man City, right? Rainy day. So it's crazy. Sean's yeah. Down. So it's like the difference between us being invincible, you not being invincible, is a penny because. Van Nistelrooy missed his penalty in the last minute against mm. us. If he scored that, there will be no invincibles. Mm. If Anelka missed his penalty, you guys will be invincibles. Yeah. That's why I'm like, our achievement's sick, but season to season, you guys are better than ours. And then when you look at theirs, in terms of your defensive record, I think is the best one. Yeah. And at that point, you had the most points. You won the most points and all that stuff. And it took a while for someone to break that record yeah. of the most points. So I think... Yeah. Chelsea have a strong case. I, yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I think we had 100%. a strong case. And uh, like when I clicked on it to see the, the results... And I saw Invincibles and United as clear, like, voting for. I was like, that's, what I'm that's, that's mad for me. Because, like you said, yeah. it's just that stylistically, I think we were very good attacking. But we weren't necessarily dominant in possession. Mm-hmm. We was very, like, Robin, Duff, um, Joe Cole. Just that whole rotation of our team yep. mm-hmm. was just full on attack. We, we scored loads of goals. We didn't concede many goals. We looked dominant. We never looked like we were going to lose at home. Like you said, we went on a run for, like, two and a half years at home. Yeah. We didn't f- lose a game. Yeah, Mourinho yeah. had a crazy home record. So it was like, and then and then you started going to the bridge and you started losing. <laughs> hey, me, yeah, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, sure. Because <laughs> you guys, I remember when you guys, you went years without losing yeah, at the bridge. Yeah. Then mm. Liverpool did it as well. Remember yeah. when Liverpool went crazy long? Yeah. But I think stylistically, like, we might have been able to get at that Man City Centurion team. Mm. I think obviously, like like we said, the, the, the depth yeah. of the quality in the competition within that year wasn't so strong. I'll be honest, but. Yeah. Mm. I, I agree with you as well, but at the same time, I think the Chelsea team back then, and I'm, I'm saying I'm saying the Chelsea, not even just the, the season we won the league title. I think all the way up until even when Balak and Essien and another man were there, mm. that team would have beaten the City team. I think the United team back then also would have beaten the City team now as well. I, I think, think if you rank, I think in terms of strength, and I'm not just saying like you reckon, the, yeah. I think they'll be. You them. don't think like tactically think now the way City play are so no, yeah, that's I, what I overwhelming. Think, I think that's what Chelsea, I was Chelsea, back then it was rigid more. Yeah, yeah but I think it was Chelsea, more like yeah, yeah. And I, I get yeah. what you're saying, but I think Chelsea, the way Chelsea was so, um, I, f- I think Chelsea were most like defensively. I think they were a better team. We than had United. solid players. I think they were the, probably the best, best defensive team in Europe. Crazy team. So Good I team. think Terry Carvalho, yeah. Terry Carvalho, Ashley Cole, and Glenn Johnson or Paolo Ferreira or Branislav. Yeah. Over like there, over even that, Bozingua, even Bozingua. Bozingua. over that whole transition of that time, the right back was always kind of our weaker point. Yeah, but it's most teams. Them three, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah them but three Bozingua, I like. I think Bozingua was a very good player for Chelsea. He was a good stay. Yeah. 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 Good, good, did his job. Good serving. Yeah. But like, yeah. the, and also like going forward, like there's players that no one talks about enough that are serious yeah. players. Damien Duffs. Yeah. Yeah. Damien Duff, Duff Robin. What a player! Yeah. We, like, we, when we played Robin. Barcelona in the Champions League, and we were down. And come back to the home fixture, and we scored three goals in the space of like 15, 20 minutes. 
bam, Duff, Joe Cole, everyone, everyone just look at, bam, look bam, at bam, these bam. names. Yeah, Duff, yeah. yeah, Joe Cole coming off the bench. Yeah, yeah. yeah like Johnson, who's got a job to start in. You had a good, game solid, solid, yeah. solid team, yeah. solid team. Um, but you went for City. Yeah. Why do you think City is in terms of the best team? I don't, it's just that whole concept of, I think that their quality in terms of technical players and the possession-based ball that City play, I think it's very hard to, to overwhelm them. It's like, you, f- you you pressure them. It's, they, they're so good at playing out of the press. Mm-hmm. This City side has been... but Because like, it's obviously that one year that they're talking about, but like Liban's referencing is in that kind of segment of years where you're going doing three-peats and stuff like that. They're in this... They, they, as much as the competition weren't great for that year, there's been competition with top sides the past three, four years. Yeah. And they, they're about to win four out of five Premier League titles. The last five Premier yeah. League titles. And they're s- scraping up four. Mm. It's impressive. It's crazy. Yeah. It is impressive. The plays that they have, the calibre of plays that they've had throughout that period of time as well, it's just, I think mm. it's just a bit too overwhelming for some of the other teams. A hundred points is ridiculous though. Isn't yeah. it? I never no, thought I, I'd see I, that. I, I hear it. I, I, mm. I hear it. But you see also, like for example, reason why I say that United and Chelsea back then would have beaten the City team yep. is I think obviously Barcelona the Guardiola Barcelona was obviously the great for me is the greatest club football of all time and Chelsea gave them problems mm. Chelsea gave them United gave them problems the year before the final yeah but it happens the in no, the games the individual that, games that, that shows you the level of, 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 of the quality of the teams back then of United Chelsea I I'll, would I'll even say Liverpool at some points as well um, you can see the quality there the fact that they were giving Barcelona because I think Right now, this day and age, if that Man City team was to come back like against Chelsea, I think Chelsea could touch them. Fair. I mean, yeah. you, you you half-heartedly had your hand up. Why is that? Yeah, because I was like, I was, I. When he, obviously I was thinking about the the Champions League as well within that year and all that stuff. I think Chelsea's the great. I think Chelsea has had the greatest Premier League team. Is the is the question greatest Premier League? So team? yeah, so oh seven oh eight Man United, the best Premier League team ever. Oh, Premier League. They the uh, Premier League. Then the Premier League. They had a Ballon d'Or winner that year. Yeah. Yeah, no. If it's Premier, if it's Premier League, Chelsea, I uh, take, I take, change, change, change it. Yeah, mm. still fair, fair, mm. fair. I've always, okay. no thing is, I've always liked it, but I thought it was as a whole in it. Oh, yeah. that I just 2000, find it, 2000, but, but, no, but yeah. as in, like, as in, I want to say, I don't think it's like, yeah, I think I'm not people got enough. like the treble see, treble no, year, no, man, yeah, yeah, but I found it, 99 year, but I found it unfair for them to say 04, 05, 05, or six Chelsea. It's like you've put two combined great seasons of ours yeah. and putting it up against a one city team even though that they've had a run of four out of five years yeah. and you're only singling their one team out. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. So it's a bit of a hard one. Yeah, it's weird. But okay, I, I, I like that. I like, it was a good discussion. I've got I've got a few more. I've got, more, I've got loads more. This was mm. um, another one. Um, also, let us know who you guys agree with and let us yeah. know what you guys think. Um, Arsenal will finish above Man United this season. Sean's got his hand up. It's Star changed three got, this year. Star yeah. player's got his hand up and Sharky's got his okay, hand up. Okay, for me, yeah. Oh, people are going to look at it on a biased thing. Yeah, I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah, I hate Man United. They're all facts. That's true. <laughs> but the thing Get is, out of the way first. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, it's like, how for how long has Man United been like this? The conversations we was great, having man. before is the same conversation. That obviously, the points Lebron's going to make. We had this conversation in December, January, and the narrative changed, and then it changed again. But we spoke February. about it before. It keeps yeah. changing. It keeps changing. It can. So it can keep, keep changing. Yeah, but right now, yeah. I'm standing on that Arsenal, that Arsenal position still. Why did why did your hands stay down? Uh, not I just because you're United fan. No, no, I just think your score's too thin to last you to the end of the season to get you into top four. So you're so you're, you're it's not even football. N one. Yeah. We're, we're playing football. We're playing. Play, 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 no, I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not. It's 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 what I mean by that is you're playing better football. Yes. No. No. Not that. Not. I'm not saying that. I'm saying your your argument is on the on the on the potential of either red cards or injuries, no, correct? Bro. I just think your score's Yeah, too but you're saying our score's too thin. That's what you're saying. Our thin performance is all dipped based on th- over fatigue from players. Yeah, but no, yeah, but, but Arsenal were playing once a week. Wait, bro, you saw our score's too thin. We just did a video. We did a video where we did Arsenal's first team. There was 20 names. Yeah. We're playing once a week. How's that thin? There's 11 man on the pitch. Bro, you just saw the last month when you played more games. Basically, you had mid Yeah, but now we play once a week. That's fine. That's fine. There's still going to be times, bro. Got, for me, we've got I, three games in can, February. Yeah, we've got like right now. We've got the map. Yeah, we schedule even games. Even us, we've got like three games. We've got, we've got Champions League coming up. up, but then other than that, we're, we're we'll basically play once a week. Yeah, so we might end up losing the Champions League anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so no, 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 no. I don't think Ronaldo's going to bottle that. But yeah, he's dead bottling that one. But um, I just don't see you guys that squad staying like that to the end of the season. Oh, obviously, like if 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 it happens, it happens. But I just I can't see it. I generally can't but see there's loads that of, there's squad loads of factors as well. There's lots there's, there's loads of factors. Well. I think we have a uh, obviously the reason why I think we finish above 
we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll finish above you. Yeah. I'm not saying we might, I'm not saying we'll finish top four because there's still Tottenham. There's still yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Tottenham. And but the question, Tottenham, is, yeah. Okay, no way. The question, yeah, yeah, it's not <laughs> as much for them now. Yeah. But the question is, Arsenal finish above United season. We could be sixth, we could be seventh, we could be seventh, we could be eighth. I think yeah. we'll finish above you because our fixture list is. I think going for the rest of the season is better than yours. Um, I think I haven't really. Yeah, yo, 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 yo. Like the time for you guys yeah. to pick up points was the point where right, right now we're drawing. Now you're drawing. I, remember, drawing I, remember, I saw right. a picture. I remember I saw the picture. Let me, I'm a fan. I'm a fan yeah. of my phone. Mm. Why don't you guys keep talking? Yeah, but I, yeah, I, 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 unpredictable, bro. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, oh, very unpredictable. Yeah, of course, we can lose to any team in the league. Like we can lose to anyone. I just find that United's performances have been so bad against poor, poor sides. We've just been the fact that like the reason. Another thing is yeah, um, it's gonna sound weird, but. The fact that we've been so bad, but yet we're still in the mix, for me, kind of makes me think like that means because that, that, that's because everyone else around yeah. is doing bad. Like no, Tottenham no, just no, lost no, back to back yeah, games. True, West Ham true, dropping true, points, true, but then you guys are also the ones you're, gaining you're, points now at the yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah. And you lot got two but, games but in hand. You lot go five points ahead of them. You guys are meant to be right now. People say you lot the favorites to get top four, right? Definitely. Yeah, probability wise, yeah. That's 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 what for me bashed me a little bit because it's like with United they haven't been playing well. But yet they're still in the mix. So the moment yeah, you but you've dropped, you're dropping, you're not it's playing deceiving. well. But the you're not getting points. Yeah, the table is deceiving. Points. There's the, yeah. there's teams that have three, four more games more than yeah, others. No, no, of course. So it's deceiving. No, 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 so it's deceiving. Yeah. But then Tottenham are losing games right now as well. They lost yeah. their game in hand. Again. I would never so put I'm Tottenham is, in the mix. I, I, I'm saying is a couple, it, a couple weeks ago I would have. Maybe no. West Ham are still sustainable to try and put themselves in the mix, but I can't see Tottenham. You know West Ham as well. I don't get just. I am being a little biased in the sense of. As a United fan, I, I have the hope of them to reach yeah. the top four. I, I, that's not a lie. Like, there is a yeah. bias to that. But at the same time, bro, I'm looking at it from a point of view like we've been playing shit all season, and yet we're still in the mix for the top four. Like we're literally been yeah, you're talking in terms poor, of the whole poor. season. Yeah, we've been playing. You think awful. there's a you think there's a silver lining to yeah, the performance? Yeah, like so for me, it's like the, the I feel, yeah, do you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel no. like it takes one thing mm. to happen, and then all of a sudden, let's say we stop, we something clicks, and everything keeps going. We have the quality now to get into top four. Does that, yeah. does that make sense? Like, I feel like form, like right now, I yeah. think it's more of a form issue we're having right now. I don't know what it is. Even like, it's not, like I can't lie to you. I'll prove uh, the last two, three games. I say our our performances have improved. We have been make, creating more chances. We have been taking more shots to go. The ball's just not going in. Mm. That's the that's the issue now we're having now. Before it was we're playing poor, not creating chances. Now it's we're playing all right, but we're getting the chances, but we're not putting it away. I think the moment that clicks and we start putting the chances away. And then everyone starts getting the confidence back. I don't know. I just have that hope that once things tick, it, it will just set a run. That's that's what I'm kind of banking on. I'm banking on the run basically, and to get as in. But I feel like we have. If that was to happen, we have the quality for that. Whereas I feel what you lot, you are playing well, and I I think you're starting eleven right now is, is playing better, way better. Than I think you're playing better football than us. But I think it just takes one little absent or someone getting a long term injury, and that's everything collapsing. That's how it looks like to me, innit? Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Who are you not playing in the next fixtures? I haven't reached. Really sure. We got Brent for yeah, the Wolves. Stop it! Really no, no, no. Got, I was looking for it. I couldn't yeah. find a picture, but it was like a fixture of like. The, you you're, you played Norwich. I remember there was a stretch we played yeah. Bur- Newcastle, yeah. Norwich, yeah. Uh, Burnley. Um, they're like average teams, like not mediocre, but like kind of. Teams average. should be beaten. Teams yeah, should yeah, be. Yeah. Obviously, you did you did because you did your, your business early, but obviously yeah. it's been a lot early. of draws and stuff. But yeah. now, potentially, you're right. Potentially, you could pick up form, but you're gonna be playing the big teams next, yeah. more or less, in it. But you know, you know, that's the thing. United, we have this problem of doing everything the hard way. And we have a history of doing that. Yeah. Like, will we? I remember, but even Ferguson days, but we lose to sh- the rubbish teams, and then so yeah. So your fixtures, like, so your fixtures coming like, up. Your fixtures coming yeah. up. You've obviously got, um, you've got Brighton at home to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, then obviously playing Leeds away. Mm-hmm. You've got Champions League, and then next month you've got Watford, City, and Spurs. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be an important month for you next yeah. month. And then you've got Champions League again, every, and then it carries every, on. Then you got Liverpool. Straight up, you got Liverpool. You got Leicester. You got then yeah. you got the teams that are fighting for to stay up, which yeah. are. Gonna be tough around that time. Yeah, yeah. So you got tough, tough, tough games. Yeah, but every lot of every, games in hand. Yeah, every, every, every game, game's every a tough game's game. A tough game though, Especially because yeah. the relegation yeah. battle's hard. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Tough, you yeah. lot now, your next. I just looked at your four fixtures. I think your next four fixtures, you win all four fixtures. No, if we yeah. do, win are in a no, but then strong. I know it's easy. That's like Owen Hargreaves thing. I know it's easy to say that. I know it's easy to say it. But you look at it. Arsenal at home to Brentford. I think you beat Brentford. Arsenal at home to Wolves. Sure. I think the home fixture will benefit you more being at home. Maybe that's the potential game where you might drop, but I think you should be winning at home. That's the thing. It's all for the way. Because you mm. see now, like, if them three, them teams and there Leicester, are Leicester at home as well. Should be, and thing. Leicester, you should you be beating Leicester. Them this, is the and this, is, this is the thing as well. Everything's, Palace, everything's marginal. Because you see now, let's say Stein also have a calamity. Yeah, anything can happen. And then they lose those they two can, games. But all of a sudden now, we're having a completely different discussion. I completely see them losing That's why for me, it's like, it's... 
I, obviously, you, you guys are be also fans. You're gonna be, you're gonna have your 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 bias. I'm gonna have my bias, but it's like my my only reason is it's just that. I think our squad, squad wise, we've got a bigger squad you than you. You don't trust us. We're not I don't trust, trust your we're squad. Not trust yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, you know, if you win, <laughs> you go five points clear of them. Like if you win them yeah. two games, no, so. but you know, for me, it's you know, for me, it's. I remember uh, CBK was asking me. I think about the Wolves game. I think you was asking me as well. Yeah. With me, with Arsenal, it's it's what Arsenal team are we bringing out? Like what what team are we playing? We could be playing Brentford, but we could have a Burnley performance yeah. where we play crap. We just match to whatever team. Like on yeah. paper, yeah, obviously. We should be beating this team, the form that we've been on, and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whereas you guys, it's more of it's like you said, you guys are starting to find your identity yeah. again. You're starting to not. I don't know. You form, know. But I like, don't know. Even that, like, that's still questionable. But yeah. like you know, yeah. as you said, you start to create more chances and yeah. stuff. Obviously, I, I I don't trust. I don't trust that Ralph Ralph. What is it Ralph Wiggum? <laughs> Chief Wiggum. Wiggum's son Yeah Ralph Wiggum Whatever his name is I, I don't trust him I don't trust him Because bro yeah. Man United fans were screaming Gigi and Press Four minute clips no, that, <laughs> that, was that, was that, was that was me That was me man. That was enjoying that, that. that But, but the, obviously It's Klopp Klopp and Klopp and yep. two shows Dad It's just not yeah. happening still Oh uh, we'll see what happens Anyways uh, I want to hear what you guys think Um, are going to the next one uh, Jay Murnab actually said this recently And I want to see what you guys think Fernandinho is the best defensive midfielder the Premier League has ever seen. That's crazy. It's not crazy. Right, I'm trying see. to think. I'm trying to think. It's not crazy. It was about pure yeah. set defensive midfielder. Some yeah. midfielders that you can name were they real pure defensive Was midfielder? Fernandinho a pure defensive midfielder? Yeah, I'd, I'd say he is. There was a period where it was him and Fernando. I don't know who played the deeper out of the two. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I, 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 this is me forgetting. It could have been Fernandinho playing deeper, Fernando playing more box to box. But Lee Man's got his, his, his thinking face on. I don't know. That's, that's crazy. There's names. There's names like Michael Carrick. But was he a pure DM? This is what I'm trying to say. Was Fernandinho a pure DM? Vieira, Vieira was, was, was centre mid for me. I don't think Fernandinho was a pure DM at times. Okay, you're dude. talking about me, people like Michael Essien then. Is Michael Essien a DM? That's what I'm saying. Fernando. Well, that's that's, that's Michael a DM? Michael Lady, yes, was a DM. <sighs> well, is that better than Chelsea? Doesn't matter. Or what you Silva as well? That's another one. Yeah, he was he was a deeper one out of the two at Arsenal. Yeah, yeah but that's, that's another. That's I don't know about DM. that. But I think Fernandinho surpassed Gilberto Silva. Yeah. Fernandinho was in a great, great city side, bro. And he also helped make it great. The great thing team. is, could you I put think any he's other? Player, but okay, this is how I'm. This is how we can have a look at it. Yeah, go on. You put any of the DMs we mentioned in this city team? Would they still get the uh, the, the results? Yeah, but there, like, you could say that of any player, all of them. You can say that anywhere. You can say anywhere. You can say anywhere. You can say no, because you take no, out. I'm saying they'll you can say let's take out. You can say take out Kevin De Bruyne and put in Mesut Özil. See, it'll be exactly the same, if not better. Nah, like it's the same thing. No, no, bro. They this is an example. They wouldn't be. Oh, that's, that's, that's what that's the whole fact, point though. is. That's that's like, example. With Fernandinho, we're replacing him, and I'm saying all of those players we mentioned perform better than him. Okay, so your answer is no. You disagree. Yeah, definitely. You disagree. Is that easy to say? No, do you know is to say he's the best ever. I think he's been very important to see. I, I don't, don't, don't want to discredit him because I rate Fernandinho highly, so I don't want to discredit him. I don't want to make it sound like. No to one's hands gone up to by, say yet, by the way. the greatest DM. I don't know Fernandinho about that one. Fernandinho being you know? the best DM in the league ever. I don't know about that one, but... The, the, mm, Jamie Redknapp no. said this the other day. No. I, I think, yeah. And I, I think Jamie Redknapp is all well. Crazy, Jamie Redknapp saying it is also kind of yeah. solidified it for me as well. Yeah, listen, <laughs> Do you remember? I'm not, I'm not going to yeah. lie to you. The moment no, he said cool. Jamie Redknapp, Sean Redknapp. As soon as he said Jamie Redknapp, I'm like, it's going to be a horror statement anyway. <laughs> 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 to be fair, well, like Jamie Redknapp does have some horrible takes. Like, Michael Owen. Nah, Michael, Michael Owen just takes the obvious. I don't think he watches football. You know? <laughs> well, what did he say? Michael Owen. You're just known for saying like. Yeah. Oh, Mike, saying. I thought he meant yeah. Jamie Redknapp made a statement on Michael Owen. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Michael Owen is a bit. Michael Owen just takes the obvious. He said someone on Twitter recently as well. I already know. Um, yeah. uh, no, someone, someone's been the. What's his name? So no one, so no one, so no one thinks. I don't know because you know what I think. Yeah. And some people might disagree, but I think Fab- Fabinho is actually a better DM than Fernandinho. I just, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I think he is. Yeah. I, think, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think Fabinho is better but than Fernandinho. Uh, he just hasn't surpassed what Fernandinho's Fernandinho achieved. Just the longevity of Fernandinho. Well, like, that's, 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 that's how I long, look at. long servant, never, very good long servant, but top quality players that have played in the league for maybe half the amount of years that he did. Better no, than him. But he was, he also was top quality. He's, he's, top, he's, he's, he's very I, good. I, I rate him highly. I rate him highly. But I've never, I've never heard someone go top. Seven Man City legends ever, yeah. But that could be longevity. That's 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 longevity. Yeah, yeah. and uh, to be fair, Man City's history only just started ten years ago. Yeah. Let's be real. Uh, City's greatest ever players. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, no, they got statue of Sergio. David Silva. They got a statue of David Silva. Company. Reem Sterling top five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Best yeah. City yeah. Players yeah. Ever. Facts. 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 
Uh, they got bro. They got a statue outside of Etihad of um, yeah. So <laughs> so that played ten years ago. Company, <laughs> brothers that company just left two, three years ago, bro. <laughs> brothers that just left two, three years ago. They got a statue outside the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. That told you the no, you, know, you know what I love about them? They've got yeah. players that are currently still playing statues outside. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, yeah. still, 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 playing. still playing football right now. Aguero and obviously. And it, and it, I mean, yeah, yeah. he was hard in the season though. Like, all right, so okay, so no one put out of Fernandinho. If yeah. you guys do think he's the best defender before that, and you agree, yeah, he's with, never had that one year, and you agree, but you don't need as a DM, you're not you're gonna have it. You're just gonna always yeah. be solid. Yeah, solid. No, no, yeah. you can be solid, no, but, but you gotta have that one standout year yeah. out of the seven. Like he's they been about eight years. years. Give me one yeah, year yeah. where he's like, yeah, 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 but yeah, but yeah Man City, where you're still. the star-studded team, you're not gonna be stand out over the standout, bro. Not really. To be fair, the year they got the hundred points, you know, he was ridiculous. Yeah, he was good, very good. But I think Kante was there as well. Kante is another one, Matting. But it's not stop, he he stopped being a DM. Like, that's uh, what I'm trying to say. He stopped like, yeah. being a DM after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, true, true, well. I don't after ever consider Fernandinho being after. a defensive midfielder because when, when, when was he ever defending on the edge of his yeah, court? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when was he ever clearing up? He's done it. He's done it. I feel like he's done a lot of games where he has sat. He has sat. But it's like he's a he's a he's a he's a person to just offload things to. He's offloading, but it's not. He's and he's playing centre back quite a lot as well. He's yeah. even yeah. That shows that he's a deep midfielder. He plays centre back as well. Yeah. Okay. So next one. No Man United players get into Chelsea starting eleven. No Man United players get into Chelsea starting eleven. Right, let me think about this. Um, Hands up or not? Right now, currently, I can't agree with it. What's this? No, <laughs> you always lost, bro. No, no, I don't know. I know we mean the the Chelsea. Ch- any Man United players getting into Chelsea, innit? Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to stop looking at your phone. Like. <laughs> um. I, I personally believe that I right, see I that there's so yeah, many weak. Yeah. Huh? I think Varane does. Nah. I think I think no, no, I think no, no, I think, no, I think defensively is the least place yeah, that the least you guys. Place. I think it's centre wingers. midfield is locked. It's Forwards. literally you wingers you and forward. striker. And forward. I'm having Ronnie. I would say Varane gets it. Tonight. Would you say Ronnie? I'm having Ronnie over Lukaku. I don't care. So you want to have Varane over uh, Christensen? For Christensen don't, don't play. Start. Yeah, Christensen don't start. So who starts in your back three? Um, Rudiger, Thiago Silva, and Nah. Um. Sometimes Dave plays centre back. If when, when we had when oh. we had Reece James playing, as Pelaquetta was playing, no, centre but back. I think I think this is more not on current thing. It's more it's on the ability. season as also oh, Reece James I'm is starting right ability though. Oh, so Reece James starting right back. Chelsea, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. centre back. So you won't put Varane over Aspi? Nah, that's mad. I think that's mad. Okay, that's mental. I think I think I think Varane will get into that one still. You won't put Bruno Fernandez in there? No. Ahead of Mason, but where does where not with Bruno, our team? Where, where would Bruno where is play? He, where's Bruno play? Where's Bruno we play two centre mids. You play, they, they only play with two. See, I play a horrible formation. Yeah, right, it's not. It's just our style. You know, you know who plays on the right? Uh, Mason Mount. Who's on the left? That's the problem. So on the you left, won't, you won't put Rashford there. Rashford or Sancho? Sancho yeah. plays on the right. If it's I would put Sancho there. Yeah, Sancho can play left as well, though. What? Because that one clip where he ran if, past a couple of players. If you played, if you played Mason, no, if you played Mason, and, and, and you know what Manu was talking about? That's bro. his highlight. You know, man just trying to dribble. No, bro, Sancho back, baby. Yeah, that highlight that was poor for me. That, that was on a poor what, man doing with that. Video. I, I even I told her to delete that shit. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Who did you tell to delete? You're posting you're a video, bro, of you're Sancho you're dribbling past Burnley players. Bro, you're posting a video, brother, just running with the ball. That's his job. What are you? Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Like, and actually, job, I remember bro. seeing that. Well, like, I was like, like, it was it was one one as well. Well, like, well, like, it's it's like, like social media like FC now, yeah. yeah. We just post the content cause for, just for content's sake. Amazing, because you know it's like it's Horror. like it's like when as as you said earlier, bro. It's bro, like we do like one after Burnley, the bottom of the league, and what we're posting is is a man running to the ball, running to the corner flag with the ball. It's similar when Arsenal that stuff when it's the kids for Arsenal. No, not even the kids. It's it's the the month when you never scored a goal and you put out content for no reason. Goal and goal. Of the year, goal of the month. That's crazy. It's it's mental, but bro. in terms of wingers, I don't like Rashford. Same. Well, I think but he gets to that chill to No, but Rashford, Rashford in terms of off the left, like, you know, I always, I've always been tweeting, no shooters FC. Yep. Mm. Rashford shoots. Yep. So even though he might not be the best playing, playing player, he shoots a lot. So potentially, he could probably play on the left because he shoots. Mm. At least someone could shoot. Yeah. There's a there's a threat from 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 deep of shooting, and yeah. that's what we lack because people people know how to play against us nowadays. Yeah, so they they know where our, our qualities come from. Yeah, so people sit on sit like they they sit on the edge of their area. Mm. Don't they don't care about the ball coming out to Jorginho or Kovacic because they know both of them can't shoot. So Mason Mount's on the on, on on the right. He's far away from shooting from mm. on his right foot, far right on the mm. right. So we need a potential shooter. First, okay. I mean, so. Everyone, no one agrees with the fact that no Man United players make it to Chelsea's team. 
No well, he thinks Varane gets in. I think Varane gets in. Yeah, so we all think United play gets in. He thinks Rashford gets in as well. Yeah, so we all think United play gets in. That's what I'm saying. All right, cool. We're all in agreement. No point sticking around. I've got another one for you guys. Um... Man United shouldn't have signed Cristiano Ronaldo. My hand's up for that one. Levan's hand is up for that one. Can't lie, still. Stars and Sean are looking at each other, thinking. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. Your I don't hands think, down. I think it was an all right signing. Yeah, same. Okay. No, same. Scored goals. Scored crucial goals. You, I remember when the signing was announced. You're buzzing, man. Over the moon, like man, 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 and were, man and were ready to say Messi go and all that. Yeah, stuff. when the city rumors yeah. was there, you put a go. You know Messi what is? Go- been, you know what is? I think it's. I think it's more or less they expected Juventus Ronaldo. When in reality, Even Man Juventus United Ronaldo's shit. Better. But they've got to Juventus expect Ronaldo Ju- got thirty five, bro. But they, they've know. got to expect Juventus performances exactly, and Man, and man United can't perform like Juventus was performing for, for Ronaldo. Man United are more. Man United also are more happy that they got him because. City was supposedly interested, but yeah. I don't think they might have been. So me personally, I don't think I don't think it's a bad signing. He's, bro, he's, he's, he's scored he's, too many crucial goals for Man United. Yeah, jail, bad times. Uh, yeah, and these are crucial didn't. wins where Man United wouldn't have had these wins, and no they've been struggling League. for There's results. No Champions League, so yeah, no Champions League. Round of sixteen because of him. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you agree then, Levan? No, he agrees. It's because he hasn't ah, been no, scoring, like he, bro. No, but why, do, why? Why do you think that it wasn't a good signing? I don't. It's not that I don't think. I don't think it was a suitable signing, bro. I think it ruined the balance of the whole team. I think the chemistry of the team. I think the morale of the team. I think there's a lot of things that. Plus all because of him. Um, I wouldn't say yeah, he's di- got. A fight. I not say him directly. It's not his fault directly, but he's it's, it's, it's had an impact. It's, it's definitely had an impact, and I think, for example, just the fact that he feels entitled to be on the pitch all the time. That in itself is already already like mm. for example right now yeah we got SDS there's Shashaki there's Star um, there's me and Sean yeah let's say um, next week uh, Sharky wants to bring on um, Faisal right here so he wants Faisal to sit here if I start complaining and say start moaning and say Faisal's in the room right now and I start complaining and I say why are you why are you taking me off the show like why are you taking me why can't you take off Sean why can't you take off? do you know what I mean if I start mm. doing that now. What's the relationship gonna be like between me, me and Fa- Faisal now? It's gonna be a bit sticky. Like it's gonna be a bit nice. Yeah, but you are the greatest ever pl- person I, to okay. be on a podcast. F- f- for example, f- fair enough. You're the greatest okay, ever fair person. Enough, and, and Faisal looks but, up to you. Uh, bro. <laughs> In this example, you're Ronaldo here. The old days are the old days. The old days <laughs> are the old days. Well, like, it's fact though, yeah, bro. Yeah. The old days are the old days. So for me, it's like if if now even okay even even so, I am the greatest yet. Just. Faisal's Faisal. not actually there, by the way, guys. Yeah. Just make Faisal, sure. He's not actually sitting he's actually, behind the camera. He's, he's, he's pointing at Hasim. Big man. But, Fa- but Faisal now might feel a type of way yeah. about me. Thinking, that, bro, who's this guy, bro? I like yeah, but you know they, were do, but they were doing so, that. But he was, his character probably yeah, yeah. was but then, the same. But then other, but like what, about, what about Ilias and, and Rory and that? No, this is my point. No, but no, what I'm saying is, no, but my, no, my thing now, no, but my, no, my thing is now, my, my thing now is, Even though, yeah. no, but I'm just saying in general, but like, my thing now is like, as a player, when you see somebody behave like that, it kind of makes you feel like this is not it's not a team thing no more. Mm. It, every man's just thinking about they're not thinking about the team; they're thinking about themselves. But that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Don't so you not think that they had that kind of problem at Juventus, but they still was able to excel? Yeah, yeah. So, but obviously, Serie A, Premier League, it's a bit, yeah, it's, it's a, a bit, bit different. Dif- it's a bit yeah. different, and I think the expectations right now at United are more. There's more pressure, and it's more. You think United play worse when Ronaldo's in the team? No, nah. I think it's been they've been I, as bad I, as they've always been. been. I think you've been be, you've been bad for a, lot, a couple of years now. But no, but okay. No, but if we're no, gonna be honest, no, though, bro, yeah. last season they were they were, we were better. We were better. Season before that they were, we were better. better. We were like the way they were playing, counter attacking yeah. football, they were better. Only we were better, bro. Yeah, Br- we're more certain fluid. players were better. Certain Bruno players Fernandes as well. Better. Yeah, like F- Bruno Fernandes, for example, he's another one that I feel like his playing style yeah. has been affected by Ronaldo's. These are real things. Yeah, this is a real thing, bro. That one is that one's true. Bruno, Bruno, before when he used to have the ball or used to pick up the ball off the half and drive with it, bro, he would have Rashford, Greenwood. Uh, 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 Martial in front of him, and he would yeah, have movement. options, and it'll be it'll be fluid because you have Rashford coming in, Martial moving uh, um, moving onto onto the wing. Yep. Like there was a lot, a lot of um, interchange, interchange yeah. a lot of interchange, and Bruno had a lot of options, so it used to give defenders more headache, and it was more unpredictable, and that's why it gave us a lot of moments. Now Bruno will pick up the ball first four. 
how can I get this ball to Ronaldo? Yeah. Bro, it's become predictable. Otherwise, it's going to moan. <laughs> yeah, bro, otherwise, it's going to moan. Bro, it's yeah. becomes, we've, we've become so predictable. All our football is now, we either get the ball out wide and try to whip it into Ronaldo, or Bruno will pick up the ball somewhere in the middle and he will try to loft the pass into, into Ronaldo. But that's how we play. Bro, we've become so predictable. That's why it's not, it's not a, it's not a, um, you're making it sound like Ronaldo's that. not adapted to it, bro. No, he's adapted to now, it. Because now, now he comes off the bench here and there. No, okay. Kissing the shin pads. You know, but what, I'm saying, is, what I'm saying is, it's. So he is willing to change. No, but his impact on I don't think he's happy with it though. No, but I'm he's saying, but he's willing to change. Like, is this his longest team. run without a goal in like 15 years or some shit? Like no, but what mm-hmm. I'm then saying, who's, is that you can't, you, you can't blame Ronaldo. Win, for that. No, but we wouldn't, I'm ne- I'll never question Ronaldo's bro. He's the greatest like goal scorer of all time. You, you, you talk about like his mentality, you know that he's training hard. He, yeah. He's got he's, everything, he's a goat. but he's a goat. his presence, his style of play now, the way he plays now, doesn't it doesn't benefit the team. Yes, he's, in terms of mental, mentally and what he brings to the team, mental side he's of things. He's still a goal scorer. He's still a goal scorer. He doesn't lose that. But, but his playing style affects the team. Yeah, I agree. You take him out, and even when the, when games where Cavani started, we look more energetic, yeah, more fluid. Cavani there's more movement. Cavani Everyone's, makes, yeah. like, but we look like we're more likely to score a goal. With Ronaldo, it's just he's waiting for that chance for the ball to land, and he's just trying to tap it in. Or, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and that becomes predictable after a while, bro. I don't know. It's For me, it's... I mean, uh, it's uh, bro, you're, you're talking to a Ronaldo fan, bro. It hurts me to say that, bro. I have to say it. I have to be honest. And I'm looking... Bro, he's he's horrible. <laughs> nine, he's right. He's no, horrible, no, no, no. He's, 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 sh- he's, sh- sh- he's a nice sh- 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 Nine minutes. They bro, shit nine minutes. He's, he's a he's always bro. The, he's one of those players that you're waiting for the ball to land to him. So you know that nine nine nine, nine times out of ten he's gonna hit and he'll score. Yep. But when is that ball coming, bro? It comes once or twice because in the game. That, bro, is that in the whole rest of the game? We yeah. need you to do the job to link the play to create attacks to create chances. That, we, that's what happens. It's a ninety minute match. If if, if it was that easy, yeah. the score lines would be like basketball score lines. Literally. The reason why there's an average of two and a half goals per game or two goals per game average is because there's not many chances to fall in the game. So we and need and to do Premier everything is else tough as well. Premier is not easy no more. It's tough. It's bro. not easy, bro. It's not easy to create a chance. A chance of chance like it's. It's tough, bro. When you get your chances, you have to take it. But if your chances are only like two, three, four in the game, it's of course like he's Ronaldo. But bro, we become so predictable. It's 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 it's, it's it hurt, bro. My eyes hurt watching United right now, bro. I think it's become predictable. But that's what that's why I'm still saying the fact that yeah. I, f- I still think it's a good signing because as much as as much as as much as he only has one style and whatnot, whatnot, he's trained on being explosive in short periods on and and at moments, mm. but. The lack of quality throughout the whole squad doesn't allow Man United to yeah. have a certain number of alternative ways of playing. They're not looking like they don't play well right now. So yeah. it's just like we have to play one way to Ronaldo because he's the only focal point we have yeah. that's good enough to do certain things at an elite level. No one else has got that ability to. Yep. Fred, McTominay, whoever it is, yeah. Pogba's back now. Let's see how it well, looks like when with Pogba being back. Th- he's now now we I can think I think see. Ralph. Heard what Faisal said and said, "Let me play him." <laughs> he's, he's yeah. like, "Oh crap! I got the best player in the yeah, league. Yeah, yeah. I might as well play him." <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F- okay. Let's know you guys think. Final statement. I want to put in um, Newcastle. They've been doing well. Back to back wins now. Newcastle will make top four in the next five years. I think they can do it. Yeah. Five years is a long time. I think yeah, they could do it. Yeah. Do. They can make a fourth yeah, spot. Yeah. Even just last year, like West Ham almost yeah, made top four last couple yeah, years. Think Newcastle they got, the, they got the finances. For all the listeners, my hands up, Sean's hands up. Hey, uh, Levan's hands, hands up. Not Sean, Levan's hands up. Yeah, my hands up. It's, it's five four. years a long time. Okay, like, I'll seasons be... where, look, West Ham, Leicester almost made it f- last three, four years in a row. Like, there's going to be... How long six, did it take City? Four years to win the league. To win the league. Let's just make it top four. Mm. You think Newcastle should have to go to win the league? No, it's top Do four. Finish top four in the next five years. Well, the whole time they were, getting, up, where they were getting Ireland out, Petrov out, Joe out. Top four, you can make my top four. It makes Is that four years? Four. I don't know. He said it takes the four years to, 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 four years to win the league. They, 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 I think they got bought in 2008, no? Like that. Yeah, around that time. And they yeah. won the league in 2012. Mm. Mm. And this is top four. Newcastle finished top four. Obviously, Man City hit. That's crazy. They could finish yeah. get a fourth spot. I don't think they can. Because they, they, like, you saw what they did in January. January is the window where you're not going to make that many signings anyway. I, I think Chelsea have too much of a they financial backing the right to signs. be still in and around the fourth in, in the top yeah, but four. You, but Chelsea easy. always have financial backing and you have a season where you finish sixth here and no, there. I don't think we're, we're going to be like you that. You think that's done now? Yeah, I think that's okay, done. Okay, so you guys are guaranteed top four spot every season. Liverpool. Liverpool. But Liverpool, no, but Liverpool could go through the change. And it's, at some point in the next three years, I feel like Liverpool could finish outside top four for one season. Liverpool. When the Salah and the Marnies are done, 
they, obviously they've they've got the Jotas and Diaz, and I've said this in a recent podcast. It's natural, but it yeah, might Liverpool be one season yeah. where they have a blip, a blip season. Well, if Salah ain't gonna be Probably there, yeah. Klopp's come as well. Yeah, a blip season. I, c- I can see that. Yeah, maybe. City, City always being around there. United, we know aren't reliable. Arsenal aren't reliable. They can get a fourth spot. But I'm not here to convince you. I want to know what you think. Stars' hands gone up in the end. Sean's yeah. done one. I'm not convinced still. You said to get Champions League. Do I yeah. trust Eddie Howe in the next five years? Not he in a billion always, years. He might not always be there. But <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. In five years, just to make top four, three years, losing, re- two years of Eddie Howe, losing Rike, Rike, and it's done. Yeah. <laughs> they can do it. Up. What do you think they can as well? I think they can, bro. It's possible. Yeah. It's Anything is possible. Anything, possible. Spot, Anything is possible. Yeah. I'm just unconvinced. Sheffield United almost got yeah. there a couple of years ago. I oh, know, it's mad. It can happen. Nah, so why is it had not? That break killed him. I'm, 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 I don't think they personally can. In the, in the fi- in next five years, though, you know yeah, I mean? I, I, just, just a fourth yeah. place finish. But it's I a lot. A fourth place finish nowadays is a lot. Yeah, but then like, but a lot of teams compete for yeah, it. Compete for it. Yeah. I know. Let's that's what I'm saying. Newcastle, it's cheating. I think Newcastle in the next two years will be in and around the competing side. Oh, that's mad. You see how the Wolves are now. The Wolves are still, in, you know, Wolves are in right there. They're not far off. Mm. Team like Wolves, West Ham, Newcastle will be in that category in the next two years, I think. And then we've got another three years to try and sneak one in the top four. I think they'll do it. I don't think they will. No, no, no. no. Newcastle, Newcastle won't be next. Uh, the Wolves in the next two years, yes. Nah, hopefully Papa. SDS is ro- is running in five years' time, so we can come back. And yeah, yeah, hope so. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see. But you don't think they'll be in around that top eight category in the next two years? Nah, really. I, th- I think they've got two so years much. Th- th- three and a half more windows. But they don't have. They, they've got obviously they've got to re- get rid of a lot of dead weight, and I don't think they will. I think they'll get rid of players, but. I don't, nah, not in the next two years, man. No, nah, not in the next top eight. What? In the next two years, yeah, easy. Nah, easy. not for me. Top easy. eight, yeah, easy, maybe. bro. Easy. In the next two, bro. I've seen teams. Yeah, top eight, I've seen teams get four. promoted to the Premier League first season, do all right. Next season, finish top seven, top eight. Yeah, I think that easy. Southampton have done that. Nah, Leicester, easy, have, easy Leicester, have, Leicester have come to the Premier League and within two years have won the league. That's obviously crazy anomaly. Southampton have come to the Premier League within a couple of years. I think the second season they finished top eight. Sheffield United first season in the Premier League finished seventh, eight. You think Newcastle that much money? And you see what they did in January. Their first window it was a no, minor window, top eight. and they made all like a lot of good signings to to, to address the problems they have. You think in the summer they're not going to do crazy talent ID? I just hate Eddie Howe. I'll be real. That's about it, man. I like Newcastle. I like Newcastle. I like Newcastle. I like Newcastle. Top eight possible. Yeah. Newcastle was a big. Club. I don't know why you hate Newcastle, Newcastle so much. Newcastle is a big club. Newcastle is a big club. The city. The city love that. That city is like the great city for football. They love football. The club is big. The stadium. No, no, no. They're just meant. They're meant to be a massive club, and I think they will be. And I think next five years they can easily get to a four. Easily, I'm not convinced. Well, we'll see. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. That is the, the final uh, hot take. We've got loads more on the list. So if you guys like this, um, we'll do more for sure. Um, like the video, subscribe, comment below, hashtag SSPod on Twitter, send us some ideas. We'll see you guys next time.